Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's an honor as usual to be out in nature and greeting you. And each and every time I look around and see the lovely sunlight, it even makes me feel even so good knowing that I'm bringing a message of light to you. I'm bringing a message of the S-U-N to you because the S-U-N is what provides all of us with the life that we have because it is what powers all of humanity. Therefore, my brother and my sisters, I want to speak to you concerning Neville Goddard and Abdullah, our ancestor, who I refer to in many videos as the Black Mystic from Ethiopia. And I've even written a book called The Black Mystic from Ethiopia, Neville Goddard mentor and i want to speak to you on something that is very much dear to me and it's part of my experience having grown up in the caribbean and being born in the caribbean that's the reason why i chose to speak to you concerning neville goddard enslavement and many might ask themselves what kind of enslavement am i speaking about when i speak about neville goddard enslavement now neville was born in the caribbean island of barbados which means he was born in a colony a british colony therefore he was born with a colonial mentality because he was born in a colonial uh in a colony okay now being one who born in the Caribbean and one who have come to self-realization I can refer to the lifestyle of the Caribbean as enslavement because all these islands in the Caribbean they actually they were all colonies and they were colonized and there have been many slaves who were kept captive and were thought to think a certain way to act a certain way and to believe a certain way that's the reason why when you listen to many of Neville Goddard lectures and even when you read his biography you would see whereby he's showing you the life in the colony and you would even hear him mention the name of my country which is the name of St. Vincent and the Grenadines especially when he was speaking about his father and the court case that they had now one thing I really want to point out to you is that Neville would have mentioned his education and how he was taught in school and how religion was part of his education and when you check Neville's life also, you would see that he's displaying that when you live in a colony and you've been trained to have a, a colonial mentality, you will also have an employee mentality and also a religious mentality if you do not learn to look inwardly. Therefore, Neville shared an experience of his teacher in school who beat him unmercifully because he said that thou shalt take must take up thy bed and walk instead of saying take up thy couch and walk and me being one who born in the Caribbean I know people in the Caribbean do not refer to that scripture in the Bible and say couch just always say take up thy bed and walk but all of those things that Neville was sharing was just to show you the extent of the enslavement, the extent of which the people in the Caribbean believe in Jesus, which is an idol, to show you the extent of their slavery, to show you their religious and superstitious mentality. Now, Neville didn't describe his teacher who beat him unmercifully, but I want to say, I believe with all my heart that his teacher was a Barbadian 
of my complexion. I believe that. Because who could be so fanatical about this Jesus more than black people? They are the ones who are so fanatical about this Jesus that never exists because they do not take time to think. And they don't ask themselves certain questions. And most of them believe that the key to success in life is education. And therefore they rob themselves of their mental faculties. Especially imagination, intuition, their will, their, their reasoning. They, 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 they have no logic at all. Even you just saying that Jesus is not real and is an idol, they already taken off. They will already take offense against you. They, they will already develop a certain feeling towards you just for saying that. So yes, let me go on with the life of Neville, where Neville said that was the time that his father took him out of school. All of that was showing you how the school system does be changing your subconscious mind to be controlled and how they're using religion in the school system to rape you psychologically. And so his father took him out of school. And many people read Never Got a Biography and many people miss all those points. And, and, and very few people realize that certain things was actually deleted or removed from the original Wikipedia or the, or the original biography that was there on the internet about Neville. But that's another subject for and another then time. And he went on to tell you why he actually left the island. And that's the main reason why most people who live in these parts normally leave these islands to go to places like America, Canada, England, and so on. Because by the time they finish educating you in school, you would, you would be leaving school with an employee mentality, and you would believe that the land of opportunity is in America, Canada, and England, instead of realizing that the land of opportunity is between your two ears. And then Neville told you how he walked from one place to the another place. I think one place that he walked would have been J.C. Penny. Okay, I, I am subject for correction if, if I'm wrong. Okay, but he named the different places that he walked, and he realized that he was working for mega salary, and that is basically the lifestyle of the people in the Caribbean. Most people in the Caribbean, because of the employee mentality, they work for mega salary, and then. They shape their life on a level of limitation because many of them, they believe so much in academic education. And so Neville, in his search for meaning, he said that he actually went and he, he decided to join a dance company and began, began to dance. Now, he's showing you here he was coming out of the educational realm and was seeking to know what is his gift, what is his talent. He is coming into now a place of exercising some form of creativity. And it's from there he went on further and met someone who introduced him concerning the metaphysical. But to cut the long story short, all of this was happening to show you that every true savior always born in a colony. They always born in a place where they were colonized. And so they have to rise up to break that colonial mentality. And so Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia, our ancestor, this is where he came into play and show Neville that many, many, many years ago, thousands of years ago, as a matter of fact, that they were in China and they were philosophers, and that he decided to forget, that Neville forget, uh, decided to forget 
But Abdullah, remember all of these things are symbol teaching us that out of the island, out of the colony, comes a savior, a redeemer. Now look around, all over the internet, there's so many people teaching concerning Neville. And there are so many hiding behind the message of Neville and Abdullah. Some are calling themselves uh, motivational speakers. Some are calling themselves self-help self teachers. Some are calling themselves um, self-development gurus and so on. And many are speaking it from a... Uh, uh, a businessman standpoint, some are speaking it from a scientist standpoint or from a scientific standpoint and from many areas hiding the truth so that people would not pick it up easily. But I would many, many times I would listen to many of these people just to bring the confirmation that what I am saying or what, what is revealing to me that it is the truth and that it all comes from the same source and Abdullah was sending a signal to show us how to break the enslavement of mental slavery but he was using the experience of Neville that we can watch the footprint in the sun and understand. So here, Abdullah was being Neville savior, teaching him how to break his enslavement. While on the other hand, teaching us that this is the message that we need to break all enslavement from colonial mentality, from all slavery mentality to discover our creativity, to discover our true ability, to discover our true identity, to be our divinity. And then Abdullah went on further to teach Neville the power to achieve his every desire by teaching him that the Bible adjusts as the human mind must be interpreted psychologically, that is not literal, neither is it secular history which was reverse psychology teaching us that the Bible was used to keep you in psychological slavery teaching you that the belief of Jesus is to keep you in mental slavery is to keep you in idolatry is to have you bowing down to an idol it is to have you believing in a power outside of yourself it is to be, have you to believe in a creator outside of yourself it is to have you to believe in a power outside of yourself. So right there, each time a person speak the name of Jesus and believe that is a man 2,000 years ago, they're giving away the power. And they're giving away the power to an idol. Because those who pl place that, the name of that idol in the book, they place it in the, in the book knowing that it's a personification of the human imagination because there could never be anything that can be created that wasn't for us a thought or for us an idea or for us imagine. So you're giving away your imaginary power. Therefore, you'll not be able to contact your genie. Therefore, you will not be able to raise up a nation of magicians. Therefore, you will never be able to get the experience of awakening within yourself. You will never be able to get the experience of the empty tomb by coming out of your skull. So all these things that was happening in the life of Neville was to show you how to get out of your enslavement because Neville was in, was in enslavement being born in a, 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 a colony 
And I've been brought up with a colonial mentality because he had to walk, talk, live the life among the people and he lived that life among the people for 17 years and he even been schooled there also. That's the reason why many who listen to Neville, many can understand his every accent. That is why when he speaks, it's different from those who are born in, in America, born in England and born in other parts because why? He grew up in the sun. He spent 17 years in the sun. It is sending a strong message to you why you need to be between the, the Tropic of, of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer, why you need to be very close to the sun, why you need to be close to nature, so you'll be able to activate your inner power and my brother, my sisters, the problem is that most of our people, they always reject their savior. Now, when you look around the internet, there are many who have been paid thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. There are some, so many who are multi-millionaires who are actually teaching this principle by hiding it. In another way and teach it, actually teaching it in another way and they're hiding it from being so simple like how I can simplify it that's the reason why Neville told you that there's another man who will come after him and simplify the message and break it down because he realized from Abdullah to himself to one in the Caribbean no other place that's the reason why when you look around, there are many who are regurgitating the message of Neville. And when they regurgitate the message, they're keeping you in the realm of memory. They're not bringing you to the realm of nothingness. They're not, they're not bringing you into the place where you can experience the promise. They're teaching you the bread and fish message. When Neville was teaching the law, there were many who was following him at the Ebel Theater. Many were following him because they love the bread and fish. But when he started teaching about the, about the promise, many started following him. When he started teaching about the promise, when he started teaching them, the boat from the skull, the true virgin boat, the boat that is outside of sex, when he started teaching them that, many wasn't following him. But he knew that someone would have come and teach the promise. And that someone must be born right in the Caribbean, right in the tropics. So my brothers and my sisters, I've been following the chill. Because every wise man always leave a chill. For when another wise man been born in this world, he will understand how to follow the chill and how to come into that frequency. That's the reason why Abdullah have visited me many years ago when I was called by the man who walked out from the fire that was born in in the bush but wasn't consumed and he said i'm sending you and that's the only thing i could have recognized in the english language and at that time i was only 30 years of age After, before before even before that i was given the coat of many colors that's how i know there's no literal man in the bible named joseph that had a, a literal coat a piece of cloth that's why I can tell you the coat of many colors is the rainbow. And when I tell people there's a rainbow around me, but they can't see it, many don't believe me. And at that time I was 17 years of age. And when Neville was 17 is when he went on his journey to America. And then when I was 30, as I would have said before, that's when I was visit. And I was told I'm sending you. And I knew when I turned 4 and 5, 40 and 5, which is 45, 4 and 5, 9, 
that I will come into my purpose. And that's where I experience the power of nine. That's where I came to my higher self. That's where I, 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 I came to the place of a self-realized being. And I'm saying all of this to say, my brother and my sisters, this is the message for you to bring an end to your captivity, to bring an end to mental slavery, to look inwardly and, and to get out of paratism. And paratism is where you just repeat what you hear others say. But remember, I always teach the divine law of reproduction, that every seed and every species reproduce after its own kind. So if what I'm saying to you, if it is the truth, which I know is the truth, if you would believe me, you get the same results. If you would put trust in what I'm teaching you, you get results. And let me say this, there's no amount of money in this world that could be placed to value what I'm teaching you. This wisdom is more than money, and that's what Abdullah taught Neville. So the wisdom that you must acquire to break our slavery is higher than money. You got a wisdom brought money. That wisdom brought everything that you see right here, right now. So my brother and my sisters, I'm just following the path of my ancestor Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia, a black Christ who came to his people and his people didn't recognize him. And here again, you have one like unto Abdullah pointing you to discover your higher self, pointing you to come and eat, come and feast, come and dine, eat of this healthy food, this nutritious food, this soul food, this food that's going to help you to break all mental slavery. I'm saying all of this because there are many in my country who think I'm crazy because I do not believe in the Jesus idol story and the false Virgin Mary story because I experience the story and I know the birth is not from down below of a woman, the birth is from above. That's the reason why I always give you this symbol. And I always put my hand right above my crown chakra, saying to you that you, when you have the experience, you come to realize, Matthew 6, 22, it says, if I be single, your whole body be full of light. And you come to realize that the sun, as in the S-U-N, parallels the human imagination, and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there is no life, and there is no light. And with all the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. Therefore, as the sun powers all of humanity, so your power is your creativity. And it is your mind power, your solar power, your God power that you must use. Like Carnegie, like Napoleon Hill, like, like Ford, like the Wright brothers, like the ones who print money for you. That is the power you must use, my brother and my sisters, to achieve your every desire. And don't forget, 